I was reading a new book this morning and it's called uh, How to Stop Worrying. It's written by Dale Carnegie and he wrote that book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. And he said that there was a quote in it. I'm not sure who wrote the quote, but it says, Every day is a new life for a wise man. And it's true that uh, every day that you have that you're blessed with the new opportunities that can come your way. And it depends on how you think of uh how you think of yourself, how you think of your your challenges throughout the day, and you know, you can have a negative out, outcome or you can have a more positive outcome depending on how you feel about yourself and how you want to conduct yourself. They also he was also talking about uh, death. So yeah, if you could stop fearing death, because we're all gonna die, it's uh, death, taxes, and change are the guarantees in life. So don't don't fear those kinds of things and just try and uh, shoot your shots and go for the things that you want. Uh, when you're worrying about something, uh, think of the worst possible outcome and accept that it could happen. And just think of all of the times that you worried in the past and that never happened. So yeah, you you could have like the the worst the the worst life in your mind and what is in reality it, it's never going to happen 99% of the time so th think of the worst outcome accept it and work on ways on how to improve uh, and prevent these outcomes and try try not to, to think about it too much he was also saying that uh, you should be so busy doing other things that you don't have the time to worry about these things because it's true that uh, to, to do self-improvement, it's a lot of work. So just say, for example, for me, that uh, I was talking with my mom last night and we we're she was trying to say, oh, you know, you, you should be more polite with people. And I do agree that uh, I'm not the softest person to talk to. And I'm more direct when I speak to somebody because I think that yeah, if I care about them, I'll be honest with them and out front. And it is true that I should choose how to get the, the things across to them more wisely. But I also gave her an example of a, a bully in martial arts class where uh, the, the instructor was like, go get this guy. And uh, I pretty much like did whatever I wanted to. And sometimes certain people, they're, they're not going to understand it if, if you're too nice to them. So it's a give and take on it. It depends on the degree and the situation. So she was saying that, oh, you know, you could be nicer if, if uh, the, the way that I talk to certain people, I could be nicer, but uh, this is my version of nice. Uh, if, I, if I'm talking to somebody, like a kid or, or a woman, you know, it's going to be different versus if I'm talking to one of my friends or, or my brother. <laughs> so this is a journal entry that I wrote yesterday. I was supposed to record it, but uh, she, she called me midway into it and um, it says uh, let go of the painful past events because you value your happiness first forgive yourself and others and let go these negative emotions are taxing food people events are more enjoyable when you are happy anger can generate energy and when you get sick of your life and how things are that you will work as much as possible to fix all of these problems a uh, lot less than nine to uh, seven to nine hours of sleep can cause a 13% increase in mortality. Lack of sleep causes a bad mood, prevents you from having a good time, such as when you're grumpy. Uh, you you wear I wear glasses to to try and get better sleep, and I've been trying to sleep earlier. So around 10 o'clock, I'll, I'll try and wind down. I, I was I was practicing my Spanish yesterday. And I was thinking that, oh, you know, why am I getting so angry at myself for forgetting a word like muy bonita or something like that? I forgot to put it. I forgot certain words. Or if, if you do like a un and una, like una vestido or un caro, sometimes I, I would interchange the two and, and then I would get mad at myself. But it's like these are mistakes that even in English, when, when I'm talking to, to you right now, that I, I would make mistakes in my previous video because I said, oh, I'm 140 pounds. That's not true. 
I'm like 162 this morning. So that's a mistake. Uh, I also made a couple other mistakes. Uh, um, sometimes when I'm thinking about so many different things that I'm not focused on, you know, all of the details. And as long as you can understand me, that's what I think is the most important. I uh, want one of my friends, he, he's from Taiwan. And I, I know he's self-conscious about his English. And, and I just said, yo, man, your, your English is good. I can understand whatever you're saying. And even if you did make a mistake, you know, that if I can understand you, it's all good. So if, if I'm trying to speak Spanish and I make a mistake, that uh, they will help me. And they, they will help me learn and grow. And over time, I'll get it. I'm also, I was thinking that, you know, I, I don't speak English like an English person. Or I don't speak English like the original creators, you know, however many hundreds or thousands of years ago. So... Uh, take it with a grain of salt. Even for uh, for Spanish, I, I noticed that in, in certain countries, for example, like possibilidad, they don't pronounce the D at the end. So it's possibilidad or unidad. It's not unidad for uh, people in Puerto Rico. So or some people say pa for para. And it's like, okay. <laughs> so... Sir, certain people, they could be like, yo, your, your Spanish is wrong. And it's like, it's not wrong to me because I'm, I'm like the Urban Dictionary. I, however I want to say it, if you understood it, you understood it. So that that's kind of how uh, I, I want to go about on learning these things. And uh, my mom was also saying that I, I should focus on one thing at a time. But it's like, if, if I dedicate six hours of my time to learn Spanish, obviously... I'll get it faster. But I'm trying to work on like so many different books that, you know, because I, I, I pretty much started listening to three books last week. I probably listened to them more than three to four times already. And then uh, once the YouTube algorithm picks up on what I'm trying to do, it'll pitch me a new book and a new book. So there's like three other books that, you know, I, I kind of want to get into. And you guys should check out a. Uh, I think it's a book on how, how to manage your emotions. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, maybe I'll put it in the description. Let, let me know if you want me to put it in the description down below. But it, it pretty much it, it tells the story of who you are. And how, how you look. Your facial expressions. Your gestures. Your speech. Your haircut. Your, your skin tone. Your body type. Your fashion. Your car. It can tell a story of who you are. Even my, my work desk, the, it's relatively clean, but it can be cleaner. Or the picture in the background. It, it could tell you a, a story of who I am and where where I came from. And even this room that I'm in right now, I mean, I, I don't have a lot. I think that I don't have a lot as an American, but maybe I have a lot compared to somebody who, you know, is less fortunate or... Uh, the 10 year old version of me. I have a lot compared to that guy. So try try new things, try new strategies, see what works for you. Uh, I, I told you guys to track your macros and may, maybe I will track my macros for one or two days and then I'll just focus on eating those kinds of foods throughout the week. Or yesterday, I had to go into the office and I was fortunate enough for them to, to buy me food. So I, I just ate that one time and that's it. Uh, I didn't eat a second time because it's more work, right? I, I have to prep the food, I have to clean, I have to track. So it's easier just to do one meal a day or sometimes just not, not even to eat at all. So yeah, your body can influence your emotions, how you look, how you feel, your body posture. Um, your body can change your mind. Your, your mood changes your behavior. Your behaviors change your outcome. That was a, a quote in a book. Um, exercise is like an antidepressant. It prevents relapse. Studies show that uh, walking 30, 30 minutes, five days a week, it lowers depression. So, and it adds like three and a half years or something to your life. It extends your life. Focus on the positives because uh, that is how you feel and act and focus uh, cut, try and cut out the negatives when you can. Be aware. Uh, negative experience is going to make up your identity. So uh, drop the comfort.